in Europe there is a long tradition of classical mandolin and the Baroque composers also, people like Vivaldi or Handel or Hasse, uh, Paisiello, Barbella and so on, uh, composed for different types of the instruments. For example, in, in Italy, the birth country of the mandolin had its own typical mandolin. So we talk about the mandolino napolitano, mandolino milanese, bresciano, um, genovese, and so on and so forth. The Neapolitan one had the tuning of the violin. And this is really the, the tuning which was kept up to this day when we say a mandolin, we usually mean a, a eight-string instrument strung in uh, four pairs and tuned in fifth, just like the violin. In the 18th century, this plectrum would have probably been a quill of a feather or a piece of wood, um, a plectrum made of the cherry bark tree, or later on, a tortoise shell. All these different materials would have created a little bit different sound and for sure it was also a matter of taste and a matter of fashion depending on which one of these courts and cities you visited. Your mandolin player would have had a slightly different instrument in their hands and a slightly different plectrum. Or Dunlop 0.58. Made in USA. <laughs> <laughs>